they need to continue that hot streak at the beginning, and let's see if they can actually close out a series. Yeah, I mean, if they can keep it the level that we know they can show, this could be 3 0. It could be a very, very quick series. But GGA Blue, as we said, they're coming in hot off the open bracket. It's going to be a difficult game for Complexity either way. Yeah, and for Complexity, I just feel like it's filled with such streaky players. I mean, I can say that about Nagafin, Study, Fellow, guys that'll struggle and they get real, real hot. Parasite's like the one consistent factor for me, really. But to open things up, it's all right on the kill feed. Till Fastball can find a pick here at mid map. Pushes forward, but cut down. It's going to be some nice opening time here from Complexity. And they have the spot at the top side of the mini map, so they're sitting pretty right now. Yeah, that's what you want. If you can just pick up a few points and keep that side of the map held down, then it's a win off that first initial hard point. But I'm all with Supreme Agility now. We've heard a few little things about him. One of these players that could potentially light up Complexity, but we'll see. To so Merck was saying, Merck yeah. was saying he, he's been a god. He said he saw him drop, I think, like 45 in a hard point. I was talking to Tommy. He said he's seen him in a couple of GB matches where he's really shined. Uh, knew him as like an S&D guy. So let's see what he can do here. But spawns for the top, still controlled by Complexity. Now it's going to come to Surge 4. Look at that, though. The pressure forward across mid, just enough to spawn out one player. That's going to be Parasite at the bottom. So you have kind of a 4v2, 4v3 here for the moment for GGA Blue. They've got to push forward, try to get a break here on the hard point. Yeah, if they can manage to get a couple of kills here, yeah, they may get some favorable spawns. Not going to quite happen. So if Fastballer and Co can hold this down, for, it's going to take about 20 seconds for the other two players to get there. They may be able to hold some points down, but it still seems to have Complexity spawn at the back here. They are going to be able to hold this down, and the kill's going to come in from Felony. They should be able to keep that fast now. GGA Blue are pushing on through. Felony doing well, though. What I really liked about the last one, Nagafin picked up two big kills in the middle of the map as GGA were trying to push on through, and that really shut down any sort of push because they got aggressive as soon as they got to hold a restaurant, but it's not been enough complexity. Do you have the spawns they need? Yeah, but this is where it becomes tough. You know, you keep spawning out in the field on the far left of the mini map. You're just trying to flood in through that kind of white bar and get a break, get a break, and it's so, so tough. They've actually managed to, they kind of what, contested and got some time over the opening 15. They got a little bit there, so they at least did a lot of complexity to get a full 60, you know? Did a little bit of work, and now they're set up for the third hard point. It's now going to be pressure to complexity to try and get a break on through. Yeah, I mean, uh, not allowing complexity to get too much off that was really, really good by GG. Yeah, that managing, uh, I said, they got those final few seconds. It means complexity, you have to turn around, deal with them. You don't want to give away just 15 seconds of scrap for nothing. And they've got their setup for the next spawn. GG are blue in a good position here to pick up some points. Uh, I was about to say, maybe if they get a little bit more forward, I thought they might spawn the fourth player out from GGEA, but he does get a spawn on the back, so they still have a four-on-four four here at the front, watching fastball, and now as he hits the edge, able to win that gunfight. One more, Parasite able to trade it out, but this has been a complete and utter lockdown of the opening 30 seconds of parking lot for GGEA, and they're starting to build this lead a little bit, Ton. Yeah, if you can get an early rotation and get set up, it's very hard to break it. Complexity now having a good go at it. We did just see one player spawn towards Bond. The kill's going to come in. GGA split away. And it's only 20 seconds, though. The majority of the time has went over to, G to GGEA, and that's a win for them. Going over towards the lookout, though, all the kills coming in complexity's favor, and they're going to be the first ones there as well. Yeah, I mean, when you take a look at it, they were very different hard points in two and three, but the time actually ends up splitting a little bit there, so you're going to end up with almost exactly a tie game. So even though you only get the final 20 seconds, you relay that. I was about to say, you relayed over nicely into field, but two kills there from Johnny and Fastball uh, slow down complexity for the time being. Let's see what Parasite and company can do. Him and Study pushing forward. It's Supreme Agility with the two-piece. As he walks into basically the shots <laughs> of Parasite there and, and kind of gifts him a clat. Yeah, Study could do some damage here, though. He's going to catch one just from behind there. Second not going to quite come in. Felony does pick up two, though. If he's going to make that three, good work by him. And Complexity going to lock this down eventually. Both teams not really being able to get a hold of Lookout so far, but this is the first initial control we've actually seen. Let's see what Felony can do, because he's very close to streaks here. Holds the close edge, he cannot win the gunfight. You've got to get that fastball with a massive kill jumping around the edge. Felony would have picked up, I believe, Fighter Pilot and Glide Bomb with that kill. Ball's just a little bit short. He's surely frustrated. Yeah, super frustrated. I mean, leading on this map uh, towards Winery and where we are now at Lookout Post, they can become so influential. And looking towards Parking Lot, they're really good for trying to break. So that's a big, big kill by Fastballer there. This game's pretty close, though. Only complexity winning by around 12 points as we go into the second rotation. Here we go. Second set. In top green, it's going to be Agility, but he'll be taken out. Stamino trying to get up and trade that kill, but he didn't actually end up jumping into the top window, but still patrolling these steps and making plays. Cuts down one, teammate helps him with the second. He's gonna get pushed from top, just playing it slow. He knows the pressure's coming. It's Nagafin peeking him, Nagafin able to win it.
Yeah, no, that's not too bad from Stamina, though, because he's making Nagathan look for him. It's Absolutely. wasting time in the half point. You saw him on X-ray just kind of yeah. crawling his way up there, basically, right? Yeah, just taking his time. Did that very, very well. More points on the ball for GGA, but complexity of the ones with the spawns. But look how close Nagathan is to these streaks. This could be big if he can get a hold of them. He is going to get two. Is he going to be able to get the mortar as well? Not quite able to get it, but really good work by complexity. They've got a slight tight lead, but that will be influential as we move into the next few half points. Honestly, I, if you get Fighter and Glide Bomb, that's basically full streaks in my eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I haven't seen too many huge plays. <laughs> Alright, but let's take a look. Also, one thing to note, Study right now actually has UAV on. So, I mean, that's key because... Not, and not don't because call you can't it use it more. <laughs> fighter Pilot is the best... Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. Just, don't call it in. But Fighter Pilot is like the best streak almost in Call of Duty history when you talk about its use in competitive play. And now that's not going to be an option here. So we'll have to see if that ends up playing. But as I you mean, look at it, still a very, very close game. And right now, top spot's controlled by GGE. I mean, Anton. Naga just calls in... The strike, the fight pilot there. I don't really understand it. I, I mean, I know it for rotation, but GGA Blue are in the back right corner. They can just take any sort of cover they want. They've got the spawns they wanted now. Well, momentarily, they did anyway. It just seemed like a bit of a waste. Complexity, you get the four kills though, and they are going to be able to lock that down. But it becomes streak, less of a waste. Of, I mean, yeah. even though you didn't get much out of this streak, at least they got the break, right? So yeah, it's, <laughs> it's less of an oh no. But uh, Felony is trying to be one of the early rotators. Stamina though, ready and waiting for him. Uh, Felony should get good so. timing behind a player. Yep, that's that's the easiest kill you'll get in competitive Call of Duty. Right, here we go. This is going to be the attempted break. It's going to be a three on three because fastball it does spawn out near old. Felony able to back him up out of the hard point. Now the collapse is coming in. You have a gunfight happening at the bottom left. It actually is traded out. Both players are going to fall. It's still going to be controlled, though, for GGEA. And no one's been able to pull out by more than, what, like 20 points or so? Yeah. This has been incredibly back and forth. Yeah, even if they get the early rotation here, GGEA blew once again. Complexity break it slightly, but uh, you know, it just seems as if neither team can really get a lockdown on these spawns. Well, neither now, team, yeah. Now you look good. Now you look good. As long as now they can get some influence over to the left, bottom left, they're set up to soak up these final 30 seconds. You're going to take maybe one more crack at this if you're GGEA, and then you got to rotate out the field. At least you don't have to worry about uh, any potential use by the fighter pilot there from the side of complexity. Not able to win the one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, yeah, I mean, they just got to set up a lookout now. They, there's nothing else they can do, and you can see they're doing that. Complexity, you're going to have a little bit of a collapse in, though. If they can get a couple of kills, it's going to spell trouble for GG here, Blue. But fastball, that gets taken down by Study. That's a good gun fight for him to win. If he can stay alive back here, they're going to have the pinch going towards the half point. We can see that a couple of kills have already went down there as well. Parasite's pushing in, trying to win a gunfight. He does so. Complexity in a decent enough position to try and hold this down, and Parasite's done so well to break on through. Did Para. Parasite just made, I mean, the, maybe the play of the game up to this point. Not only were they already building the lead because of that third hard point, but then he gets three crucial kills on the top side of the minimap to lock down Lookout Post, and this could turn into easily the biggest lead we've had of this game. Keeps on growing. They need to get somebody in the hard point at this point, oh. but the pressure from mid-map is clearing them out for the time being. Nagafin, though. Able to clear out that mid lane and a little bit of help in mid street from study. Yeah, he did so well. He was 25 points off getting his guy, but uh, guy bomb and fighter pilot, so very, very close. But in the end, does get shut down, but that was massive. And that's going to probably equate to about 30 points for complexity, picking up on lookout there. And really good work by the veteran parasite. Let's see, study not going to be able to do anything there. Shut down by supreme agility. File, uh, fellow went down as well. And we're going to get the final few points here, but that's the first time we've really seen any team get any yeah, yeah. Sort of substantial lead. And in most matchups, I wouldn't say a 40 point lead was that significant, but we have. I haven't seen GGEA have one s real solid hold. No. So I think the lead's actually a little bit scarier than it might look in some other matchups. But now let's see what they can do as we hit into our third set of rotations. Johnny going to be in picking up time. Two of his teammates coming off a of spawn. His study finds a couple. He hasn't been challenged in the hard point yet. This is a great you know, opening 15 seconds to pick up for free for the most part. He's got some help. There you Three go. kills now for GGEA. And just as I'm saying they haven't had any solid holds, they look to be doing it in, in a middle hard point. I mean, the thing is, here as well, Abby's going to be spot. If they can push out just a little bit further, make that second round of kills out from restaurant, they can then get the spawn for winery as well. But they haven't been able to do that. I say that. A couple of kills do come in for GGA Blue. Agility and Johnny making the kills. Nagafin and Parasite do answer back, though. But it's still GGA Blue in control. Uh, They're about to tie it up. About to go into the lead. This is unbelievable. I mean, this is going to be like a 58-second hard point for them. I think you had two, two very quick contests from complexity. Other than that, they just got rocked. So that 40-point lead, which I thought might be scary, is evaporated. <laughs> Once we get back into the house, unreal stuff. Now let's see if GGA can fight for the hard points here. Uh, hard point at number two. Opening kills, a couple going to the way of complexity. They're trying to break in the backside. The as well. They've got the spawn to work with, like you said. 
Can they now crack in? They're gonna have to get by Parasite, and they're not doing a good job of it. No, Parasite just seems to be saving complexity every single time here. A couple of kills coming in there, and he was the main reason they got a lot of lookout as well. What I like about this, Johnny, just staying alive, he is gonna get taken down because complexity got the split spawn. GJ Blue had to hurry up because yeah. they've got people coming from behind, they've got to look in front as well. They don't get a hold of it. Now they spawned all the way out, they've got to have a site getting the bite at the cherry, and complexity have locked it down. And because Parasite was at back grinds, they didn't have any influence on the left street, so if he dies there, you're getting very, very good spawns for GGAA. They're definitely going to end up ultimately breaking, but because Parasite goes big there, all the spawns go the favor of Complexity. They're able to take it. Now, this has been, what, three hard points in a row that have been kind of domination from either side. Back and forth we go. Complexity now 20 points away from the victory. Felony trying to push towards Stables. Able to pick up one. I'm sorry, towards Hair. Trying to back him up. Felony knows he's got one more to deal with. The other two players from Complexity starting to move their way up the map as well. You have got to have a flawless hold here if you're GGAA. I mean, there's potential for it if they can set up, but they've never had a chance to sort of expand out from the hard point and, and catch them unaware. But Complexity trying to push in here, trying to get some picks. GGA not giving them anything to feed off here. Johnny does take down Parasite, but the kills are going to come in from Complexity. Backwards and forwards as we go, and it is actually going to be Felony, the last guy alive. Stamino is there to try and defend, but the spawns have been split from both teams here. They're going to be coming in. There's going to be a big fight in the mid-map, but it seems to be won by Complexity. Johnny takes out Fastballer as well, so Complexity now in control. Only a few seconds left. This could be game. They need five more seconds. Johnny with a chance to make a play. He drops. Several players looking at front. The stun comes in. Not enough. Cole gets your game one victory on St. Marie. Convincing uh, at times there. It looked like 2.52.14. It started off very back and forth, but, you know, Cole uh, do manage to kind of find the swing of things. Parasite leading the way there, Merka. Uh, a good performance from him. Absolutely. He seems very comfortable. And, and as you said, you, you just saw so many instances where he was rotating. He was picking up a couple of kills, locking down, down spawns. That SCG on him looks great.